Hey peeps, welcome back to the sewing room. It is Wednesday. This week has just not gone according to plan. My um, 7573, this is still the most of it that I have sewn. So yes, I should be getting on with that today. And I would very much like to get that finished today. Although it is a quite an involved dress. So I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, but I am definitely going to give it a try. My crystals arrived. I'm gonna hang on, I'll get them out before I, because all the rustling bag noises. So the crystals that I ordered from Lace Fun on Etsy have arrived and they are beautiful and they work perfectly with the little bit of fabric you can just see per per peeking out back there. So now I have no excuse not to make an evening gown, another one. I realised I was walking down here today and I was like, oh yes, yeah, so I'm going to sew the 7537 today and then I'm going to get all of those things cut out that I want to get cut out and then I can start working on those. And um, I've kind of realized that I have this terrible habit of basically I'll, I'll I'll want to do something so like for example cut out the Deer and Doe Magnolia dress for my So We Create the Look video and I'm like yeah and then it's like oh but I have to change the room around for that so you know I might as well get done this this and this and this and this and I've gone from cutting out two dresses to two dresses, a shirt, a skirt and a dress, another dress, another dress, a coat coat lining and possibly a jacket and a jacket lining as well and this this thing that should have taken me you know like maybe a couple of hours is now going to take me days and it's like yeah but you have to change the room around and you have to do this and this is this is the internal monologue in my head it's like you might as well get all the things done at the same time and it's like you know what no let's I've still got the three Cobra Corsage projects cut out and re ready to go or waiting to go already. One of the patterns I need for the dresses hasn't arrived yet. I ordered it from Net Printer, so I need to trace that out as well, and maybe alter that. Yeah, you, it's, uh, it just ends up with this giant pile of things that I've given myself to do when I actually really only need to do the one thing, which is cut out the two Magnolia dresses for the So Recreate the Look video. So I am going to just do that. I'm going to get the 7537 cut out, I'm going to put the sewing table away, the machine table away for a little bit, get just that one thing cut out, put the sewing machine table back up, make the Deer and Doe Magnolia dresses because they shouldn't take too long. They are very very easy dresses to make which is awesome. They are going to look beautiful. There's some finagling I might have to do with lining them but thinking about it no I should be able to do it the way that I like as well because the pattern actually would have you bind the front edges and everybody has just said that's so fiddly you just line it and I'm going to fully line it totally 100% so yeah get those sewn and then come back and then then work on the other projects that I've got cut out then go and cut out the rest of the Cobra Corsage and it doesn't matter if it runs over a little bit in tape pool because it's an arbitrary deadline that I have set for myself because I do better with deadlines I do do better with deadlines but um yeah Anyway, again, that's a really kind of like clear look into the internal log monologue of weirdness that goes on up here in my head. Anyway, like I say, it's Wednesday. I haven't been down here since Sunday and um, for various reasons. I have got some editing done, which is awesome. The sew alongs are still coming. I promise I am just struggling with those and I, I will I will get the things filmed. I just think I am going to have to em embrace the croaky throat because it's not getting any better. But never mind. Oh I've got on my 8972 scuba dress with the scuba that Nimue got me and it will be linked in the description down below. And then I have on a Hortensia cardigan that mum knit for me and lots of you guys on the peeps group have been asking for a everything that your mum has knit for you video and we were supposed to be doing that before Christmas but then mum got the cold so it didn't work out but we will be doing one of those when I can when I can pin her down but she's a very busy schedule now she's joined all these groups and clubs and churches and all sorts so she has a very busy schedule so I have to pencil myself in way in advance but we will be doing one of those I think I also have a new Patreon peep to say hi to and I do have my laptop here but it's not open two secs put these away as well <gasps> they're so shiny so the very lovely Carolyn Williams has joined the Patreon peeps welcome Carolyn and thank you very much right now I need to get on with some sewing two hours later okay I have a bodice and I put the eyelets in when I had just made the, the um, like this front band piece because I 
always get the fear that I'm going to mess it up and do it wrong so I thought you know what I'll do it before I put it into the entire address because that way if it goes wrong then I just have to remake that one part not take everything apart and remake it the entire dress so I have a bodice I have two sleeves which I can't put in until I've put the zip in and I can't do that until I put the skirt on I have also got my front tie my rouleau loop so that is all done so the next thing that I've got to do is turn this pile of fabric into a skirt. I am going to French seam it because whilst the selvages are, is okay on this one, it's still a bit fluffy and I don't really want that on the inside of my dress. So I am going to French seam all of the panels of my gathered skirt together. If you want to know how to make a gathered skirt or how I make a gathered skirt, because there are many different methods, I've got a video up here for you, which will talk you through making a gathered skirt to put on this exact dress, in fact. So, yes anyway it's five o'clock let's see how much i can get done today fingers crossed i can finish it it should be fine three hours later it's beaten me it's 20 past nine i've got the skirt on i've got the edge bound so just need to put the zip in sew up the rest of the seam once the zip is in put sleeves in hem it and then it's done but it's 20 past nine so i am going to call it a night because i am tired and my back hurts <laughs> but I'm really really liking how this is coming out I haven't taken out any of the gathering stitches yet so there's still quite a lot of those to go go through but yeah yeah no I'm 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 pleased with this I think it's going to be a really really nice dress although as I say I didn't think I was going to get it well no I hoped I was going to get it all done in one day I started at about midday so nine hours of work to here. It's the skirt. The skirt is labour intensive because there is just so much fabric in there. But it really is worth it because those those um, gathered skirts, I just absolutely love wearing them. So yeah, calling it a night for now. I will be back tomorrow to finish my dress. I shall see you then. Bye. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I am back down in the sewing room. It is one minute past 12 so not technically morning i've been and had my eyelashes topped up so i look like bambi again i've actually got jeans on today as well they fit again and they're comfortable i have got on my i think it's called winter waves cardigan and i will link this in the description oh, everything I, I wear if it's available i link it in the description down below under the what i'm wearing tag i get asked so often what are you wearing and if i haven't linked it it's because it's not available anymore but i'm trying to get better about putting that in just saying this is the pattern or this is the pat this is the fabric but no longer available but it will all be listed down below so yeah i've got my cobra corsage so over at cow neck tee on and winter waves cardigan which does cover my hips and butt in these in these jeans which is a bit that i i'm a bit self-conscious about so it kind of works right so i have dress i have just put on a little bit of interfacing to the side seams where the zip's going to go in and i'm going to put the zip in now i'm actually going to use a gray zip i do have a green one but it's a bright green one i think it, it, it's, it's a little bit too bright I mean, to be fair, this is going to be invisible and the only bit that you'll see is the zipper pull, but still, I think this grey one's going to work better. And it's a side zip, so it's never going to be one of those things that's down the centre of the back kind of stuff. So I'm going to get zip put in, the side seam sewn up above and below the zip, then I can put the sleeves in, then I can hem it, and then it's done! Which would be really- well, i still got all the gathering, visible gathering stitches to remove because of the way I do gathering, there is visible stitching to remove, so yeah, I've then got a lot of that to do. But it shouldn't take me too long, so I'm going to get on and get that done, and then hopefully I will be able to show you a dress in a couple of hours. Wish me luck. Alexa, what's the time? It's 2.53pm. Three hours! Not bad, not bad. I wasn't going to like real, like really quick either. I love it. I mean, I knew I was going to. The only thing that happened is I had a little bit of a nightmare when I was making my rouleau loop, my string that I usually use snapped. And so I had to cut off about that much of my rouleau loop and I thought it would be okay, but it's made these a little bit short. And I used every single scrap of this fabric to make this dress. So I don't have any more to cut another rouleau loop or to make another rouleau loop, which kind of sucks because this is a little bit short for my liking. I would prefer it to be a bit longer, but never mind. I'm not ruling out buying more of this fabric in the future because I just love it so much. It's it's such a pretty pretty colour. This is the bottle green viscose. The, yeah, let me tip you down. Oh, I also, whilst I was at it, I made myself a belt. I've had this elastic 
in my stash for ages and this is a buckle from Dritz that I got on Amazon actually. I've made one of these before, my best friend has it and I had enough elastic left to make another one. So I thought, you know what? I think it will look quite nice because of the red and green with this with this dress and I think it does. So I shall tip you down. So again, super giant skirt. <laughs> super giant skirt i mean there's five meters of fabric in this dress it is huge and one of the nice things about this goes is that it doesn't actually look that huge when you see it like this but the twirlability on this dress is amazing i really like this belt with it actually this belt kind of reminds me of gucci with the sort of green and green and red together so i thought you know what let's let's give it a try and i've been meaning to do this and it took me all of 10 minutes because I've literally just turned the turned the elastic under and under again and zigzagged, and zigzagged it down. You've seen this dress many many times. I have made three of this specific one and then I've got two of the original version with the straighter skirt on it. It's still a gathered skirt but it is straight so yeah you've seen this dress many times. There probably will be more. I'm not ruling that out because I just absolutely love it. I'm just thinking if I've got the, uh, the, the the piece, the strip of fabric I used to make this rouleau loop, I, it was quite wide and I've got, I've cut off, like I trimmed off the excess. I prefer to work with a wider strip because I just find it much easier than trying to corral really small ones. But I'm just wondering if the ones that I've got, the bits that I cut off will be small, will be big enough to try another rouleau loop. I might do that. So it's nice and early. I'm going to move on to the next Cobra Corsage project, which is the 9345 shirt with the tie front from the Buttrick Gertie pattern, which I think is a 5995. I think no that's wrong Five, something like that i'll put the thing up on screen so that's my next project i will show you how i get on with the shirt in a little bit later okay i have remade the rouleau loop i managed to let's see i've put the other because like i say I, I chopped these bits off the original one so it was that wide which actually it wasn't too bad doing like it wasn't too bad sewing that down and then turning it through this was kind of like the final piece of fabric from the length that i had so i just didn't bother cutting it down any more than that but i've made the rouleau loop and it's, it's a much better length so yeah the, it won't the um the little cord ends i have on the dress won't just hang inside of my cleavage because they're quite chilly i mean i'm sure they'd warm up but yes they were they were a little bit chilly i haven't done the shirt as yet I'm not prepared at all so I've got the shirt out but it's not been done I need to cut out the interfacing for this and when I cut out the interfacing I realized that I also needed some bias binding for the edges of the facing I had cut out some of the Cobra Corsage Chantilly cream lawn and so I've sewn that all together and I've got eight and a half meters of bias binding there, which should do for this shirt and for the shirt dress, the 6891 that I've got in this fabric as well, which would be really cool. I should have just carried on going, but I, um, I, well, before I changed my thread, I should have made the bottle green cotton, co uh, I should have made the bottle green cotton lawn bias binding. Words are hard today. I, want, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just completely didn't think about it, think of it. So I have still got that bias binding to do, but this is going to work for the shirt. The, I can't remember, it's House of Maison, Maison Sicily slip dress has arrived. This was quite expensive to have printed because it takes three A0 pieces of paper for each dress and there's two versions of it. I got both versions printed because I can see myself wanting the strappy version but I do think I'm going to prefer the sort of like version with the more coverage up top just because it will be easier for bra wearing and we all know how I feel about bras and I suddenly when when that arrived today from net printers everything will be linked in the description down below well as much as I can because this next thing that I'm going to show you can't buy anymore sorry but when that arrived today I suddenly had this eureka moment of I have this amazing cotton silk blend um fabric from Spoonflower and it's very, very Vivian Westwood. It's Union Flags, but it also has, I don't know if this is gonna show, yeah, there we go. It's also got all like these motifs and things all over it. And I fell in love with this print and decided to purchase it, like I say, 
oh gosh this is still when they were selling cotton silk which was quite a while ago now i've made a real mess <laughs> so i've had this in my stash for a very long time i have got quite a lot i think you can just about see them there quite a lot of prints on this cotton silk base which they've stopped doing and i wish they i mean it was an expensive base but oh my gosh the fabric is gorgeous yeah i've really messed this up <laughs> so i've got three yards of this the pattern that which should work for the kind of like more covered up pattern the maison sicily dress gosh wh why am i struggling so much to talk today i thought that this cut on the bias is going to look awesome it's going to look very very vivian westwood the print already looks vivian westwood so whatever i do with it would be kind of like come out looking like that but yeah it's got like um sort of like the raf wings which i do have a pair of because my granddad was in the raf it just it's a really really lovely fabric and i haven't really known what to do with it because when i bought all these i bought three yards of them because that was the the amount that i used to buy for everything because i always used to wear short dresses and i absolutely hate how my legs look in those short dresses now because i had put on so much weight so i have just kind of got, like got stuck with all of those cotton silks because I don't want to make the wrong thing with them because I can't get any more of them. Yeah, it was just one of those things that was like, oh gosh, what do I do with them? But I think that this, it's, I mean, it, the fabric is kind of, kind of got some body to it. It's, it's not stiff, and, but it's definitely not fluid. But I do think that this is going to look really good for the Sicily slip dress. I, it's because it's cut on the bias, so I think it's going to work. I do have bolts of this fabric. I've got it, the chocolate biscuit, print peacocks have fab pads the orion's nebula and then a close-up of the abalone shell and i have the, the i think I, the one that i've used the most is the peacocks have fab pads i had 60 meters of all of them because i'd bought them like when i started my business uh, this kind of like the first iteration of kittenish behavior was supposed to be custom made dresses and there was going to be 21 of each style because there's 20 for the general public and then one for me and i didn't sell very many at all i didn't sell one <laughs> because they were really expensive because i had priced them fairly yeah i mean i priced them fairly i'd the the wholesale price was taken into account like I'd, I'd done a whole formula of how to price them but they were expensive they were expensive dresses i was an unknown commodity and you know like yeah it just didn't work it was a great idea but it didn't work but never mind i now have all this fabric so i use the peacocks have fab pads to make the bridesmaids dresses for my brother and sister-in-law's wedding i used it to make pajama bottoms for big birds so that she had something to get ready in the day before because their wedding was peacock themed so yeah i've i've also made a dressing gown with it mum's had some of it mum's had quite a bit of this cotton silk because she always does in projects with it experimental projects with it it's something like 28 pounds a meter i don't think she realized quite how expensive the fabric was but i mean I, like i said i have loads of it so i'm quite happy for her to have a go with it but it's it's experimental projects that she's not 100 percent on and then one of them i think was the vogue dress that everybody had made and it was going to be a beach cover-up and it's now in a bag because she i don't think it fits her so i need to finish it for me and then another one was lining for a quilted jacket that she'd done that didn't quite work and then yeah so she's experimenting with ridiculously expensive fabric but this like i said it's totally fine it is totally fine but i do have quite a lot of all of them left and i'm thinking that what i will do is i'm going to make the sicily slip dress up in my inexpensive black polyester fabric that has a lot more drape to see if i even like the style and the fit and see if i can get the fit right and if i do then i'm going to make it up in one of the bolts that i have a lot of i'm thinking the orion's nebula one could look amazing the abalone shell one could look really cool as well as long as i was really careful with print placement because there is some it could end up a bit mm, that's another one that i could do it in before i cut into this one that was a very long waffly thing to say i'm going to make two muslins or a wearable muslin and really if it, if i like it a nice dress and then i'm going to make this one up because i can't get any more of this fabric sorry that's a lot of waffle eight and nine minutes of waffle sorry so yes i'm going to call it a night though it is only uh, 10 to 6 but i am hungry so i'm going to go make myself some dinner and get the last couple of days of footage edited because this video was supposed to go up this morning but i didn't finish this dress yesterday so that wasn't going to happen but yeah i'm going to try and get the video up today but it might be ending up 
going up on Friday and then there'll be one on Saturday and then there'll be a hangout as well. I kind of think that that's going to be my schedule going forward, although I don't want 100% commit to it, but I'm thinking videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and then live hangouts on Sundays would be really fun because the two, the Tuesday and the Thursday ones could be waffles, the Saturday one could be proper videos. I will start doing those again soon. My voice is not getting any better so I'm just going to film the intros and outros for the two so alongs because you've waited long enough for those. Yeah, so proper videos on the Saturday and then the hangouts on the Sunday and that way it also gives me days off which I hadn't been doing before but the trouble is when you love your job and your hobby is also your job then you kind of even on days off you want to be doing it but it, yeah it you know I, I have been giving myself days off which is good I think that kind of hopefully fulfills kind of your waffle quota for the weeks as well because loads of you guys very much wanted me to keep the waffles because I was going to try and put them into just one whole video but you definitely wanted the video uh, the, the you definitely wanted the waffles so yeah daily-ish waffles they are this year let's see how that goes anyway on that note I hope you've enjoyed the last two days of random waffle I certainly have I'm very pleased with my dress very pleased with my belt very pleased with my bias binding coming back tomorrow do I can't decide if I'm going to cut out the magnolia dresses or if I'm going to power through the rest of my sewing cobra corsage we shall see who knows you'll find out on Saturday <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of days and I'll see you again very soon bye